In my book, the greatest gift that any speaker can give a client, that any speaker can, can give an audience, is not delivering a great keynote. That's kind of a baseline. That's a default. That's like saying, if I put fuel in my car, is my car going to be able to drive? Well, it better, otherwise you're not going to buy fuel there anymore. That's a given. To me, the greatest gift a speaker can give others is the life that they live. Living a life that's actually worth talking about. And that's what I aim to do each and every day. For 15 years, I have traveled the world. I've lived with nomads in Mongolia. I've farmed for tea on the hillsides of China. And yes, I've sumo wrestled the heaviest Japanese human being in recorded history. All of that is the outward adventure. That's the journey that I've been on. But there's another adventure that in my experience is much more powerful that is truly the foundation of everything that I do. The first trip I ever took outside the United States was to Tanzania. I was 20 years old. I traveled to Tanzania to study anthropology. And the day I returned home, I learned that my father was diagnosed with stage four cancer. My father was diagnosed with stage four cancer. And in that moment, I began to learn the most powerful lesson of my entire life. I am not here to change the world. The world is here to change me. I'm not sharing this story to bring everyone down, to depress everyone on this Wednesday morning. I'm actually sharing it to lift us up, to empower us. Why? Because as we've seen over the past few years, there is so much that is outside of our control on a daily basis. So many things. We can't control the weather. We can't control the economy. We can't control if there is a global pandemic. We can't control company layoffs. And to a certain extent, we can't even fully control employee retention. But there is one thing that we can always control. We can't always control what happens, but we can always control how we respond. We can always control how we respond. We can always control how we choose to see what is unfolding in our life, the perspective that we bring to the challenges that we face. And when we change our minds, we change our world. What you can't see on the company website is that for more than 15 years, I've been studying not only the arts of human connection, but the arts of mental health, mindfulness and meditation. And I've studied in an ancient Tibetan meditation lineage for more than 10 years. And this practical experience of meditation, of mindfulness, is now empowering my work more than ever. Everything that I do falls into two categories, which ultimately fuels one purpose. The two categories are the power of human connection and the power of mental wellness. And both of these, the strength of the individual, the strength of the individual's mind, and the strength of the organization, which works in conjunction with the strength of the individual, strong individual, strong company. Strong company, that company can support the individual, helps us to realize our potential, the space between where we are and where we can be. But we can only reach that potential through the strength of our shared humanity.